My name's Ray, and I've been living nomadically since I was 18 years old. Two years ago, I left my life in rural Brazil, moved back to the States, and hit the road with my pup, Vado. We are currently on our 5,000 mile adventure from Mexico to Alaska, and we picked up a new home on the way. We've spent the last three weeks exploring Alaska, but today I'm going to give you guys a tour of my new camper. Alaska Adventures will be for another video. Today I met up with my new friend, her name is Blanca, and she helped me film this video. We're camped at this amazing lake on the Kenai Peninsula and I couldn't have asked for a better day to film this tour. Welcome to my new home. This is my third truck camper this year but I'm very happy to say that this is my permanent home for the foreseeable future. I love this camper. It has all of the amenities that I've ever wanted so I'm gonna show you guys starting with over here I have the sink comes down when I'm driving, which is nice. I can put like my dirty dishes and leave them there for as long as I want. The countertops are bamboo, which I love. I think they accent just so well. Over here is where I keep all of my utensils and plates and cups and whatnot. Also have this control panel that manages the heat, the fan, the water heater, the shower. Um, I have USB type C, port over here, also a 12 volt if I need more power to power things. I also have this little panel that controls my interior lights, my exterior lights. I have a ton of exterior lights on the outside of my camper, which is really nice because when I have to get up in the middle of the night and it's dark outside, it's pretty creepy. It feels a lot nicer having these exterior lights that I haven't had in my previous campers. I love like the little details of this camper, like how they have um, on the canvas these little clips so I can have all of these bungee cords that hold just all of the random things that I might have in this camper. This is probably like the most amazing upgrade that I've gotten with this camper. It's this huge fridge freezer from Truma. It's a 69 liter fridge freezer. Three fourths of it is a fridge, the other part is a freezer, and if I wanted to I could make the whole thing a freezer or the whole thing a fridge, but it's perfect. It holds so much food and I love being able to like stock up on veggies and frozen food for when I like don't feel like cooking. Under the fridge I have more storage for things that I like never use but if I need to get to them I can. The camper pops up with these gas struts. It makes it super easy like once you start pushing it up it just kind of opens by itself. But the screen doors, well, the first layer is the screen and then we have these plastic covers and then this folds down and it keeps the camper super insulated. I also have a little window over here and I use this to plug in my Starlink so I don't have to keep my door open to have my Starlink on and it also has a bug screen so no bugs can get in because the bugs here are just like out of a horror film. <laughs> Over here used to be an extra seat, but I took it out because it is just me, myself, and I in here. I didn't need it. I keep my dirty laundry bag and normally my work bag with like my camera and my laptop in it. Underneath this is where I keep all of my food. And yeah, I try to keep stocked up on as much as I can because <laughs> you never know where you can end up and you don't want to be without food. My fridge is ratchet strapped to my camper so it won't go anywhere as I am off-roading as I do. This table swivels around so I can have it all the way over here if I want. So I can have this as a walk space, I can have it over here, whatever I want. Also under this, I have more storage under this seat and down there I have more storage. I have a little basket for my spice and my tea and my coffee. This is where I keep all of my cosmetic things. I have a fire alarm and CO2 detector. One thing I love about these interior lights is they dim as much as I want them to, which is really convenient. I can't really take credit for all of these amazing decorations because Blanca is an interior designer and really helped me organize my space here today. I don't know why I never thought about this, but she gave me this pillowcase and it's filled with all of my jackets, which just cleared up so much room in my closet. Let me show you my closet. It is, when I was moving into this camper at the OEV um, warehouse, they were all laughing at me because my clothes was just not fitting. I ended up leaving um, 
I ended up leaving a extra extra bag of clothes <laughs> there that they're gonna send to me later on so <laughs> but yeah all my clothes fits in here I also have a little bit of clothes in my truck because I just have a lot of clothes as one girl does this is a full-size bed the backcountry camper has an option to have um, a king size extension um, I opted not for that because it was not needed for me and Fado. <laughs> um, I have a fan up here and this window has an emergency exit and that's pretty much it for inside the camper. All right, I wanna to talk to you guys about the upgrades that I did to my Tundra to make it the perfect off-roading vehicle for all of my adventures. One thing I didn't know about the Tundra is that it doesn't have a lot of really heavy duty, so you can't have a lot of weight in the back of the truck. So I upgraded the leaf springs to some heavy duty leaf springs. I put a two and a half inch lift, uh, Dobbins lift on the truck. I upgraded her with some 35 inch tires from Kenda and Sahara copper wheels from Nomad Wheels. They look so amazing. I love them and they have ripped so far in Alaska. That is all the upgrades I've done to my truck. So far, I have a lot of plans that I'm really excited about and hopefully they can come true in the next few months. One thing I adore about this camper is it has so much power. I have 200 amp hour lithium batteries in the camper. I have two solar panels on top and that keeps everything powered. I'll have my Starlink on for like 24 hours and my batteries are still at like 95%. I also have 20 gallons of water in the camper. 10 pounds of propane to power my heater and my water heater. This is where we fill water. This is extra storage. I use this space to keep all of Fado's things. Over here is where my outdoor shower plugs in. And this is a Truma water heater, so I can have a hot shower wherever I want, whenever I want, which is amazing. I just reorganized the space to fit all of my things because I keep buying toys. I don't know how to fit into my truck, but it's all organized very nicely now. Thank you to Blanca. We added these bungee cords up here. So I have my backpacks, my backpacking mat, my sleeping bag, my pack raft, and my yoga mat all up here, which is amazing. I never would have thought about that. My Starlink lives here. I don't really have a nice storage for the Starlink. Um, <laughs> we're working on that. I have my solar panels for my power sources, more backpacks, my dry suits, and Fado, he stays there, so he has his bed, and um, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah.